period of time and the work you do there allows you to gain insight into the fact that your par- you're your parents' priority and not the other way around. Like, your parents want what's best for you. And, you know, at home, when you have a parent with a mental health problem, in that little bubble, it's so much is concentrated on your parent. Um, not all the time, but so much is concentrated on their suffering and they might be complaining about what's going on or they might be happy one day and sad the next. And at kids' time, you hear them, they come together and you hear them talk about or talk to each other. So, like, my dad might have said, oh, my daughter did this at school, and I've never heard him, I might never have heard him say, oh, she was in a play and it was really good, or I want my daughter to do well. There's so much else going on at home, there's sort of no time for that. You do that at school, you do that at wherever the place that you're your you time is school extracurricular activities that's your place for that it's sort of the two worlds don't collide and at kids time my dad would talk about the fact that he was proud that I was doing this or my sister was doing that or he might not say I'm proud but he would talk about it so you would know oh he actually is really interested in this and he's feeling really positive about what we're doing outside of the home instead of because if I did if he didn't talk about that at kids time then I probably would have just gone on assuming that my time away from my dad doing plays or even at school, which was, you know, not a choice, I would have continued feeling sort of bad that I was there and that I may be assuming that he felt that that took me away from him. And no, like, like at kids' time, it's like the parents talk about their kids and they're encouraged to tell their children how proud they are and express those feelings and the children are encouraged to listen to that and then celebrate themselves as well so I think like learning that gradually learning that my dad to see him as a parent and as a normal parent because he still had those because I saw him as different for so long to other parents now to like to know that he was a normal parent who wanted the normal things that normal parents want which is for your child to do well all of those feelings were expressed at kids time so that's why I realized that and yeah and that just he wanted the best for me and my sister and that was a space to talk about that because and I realized and I know that now I know that my dad only wanted the good things like good things in life and success and happiness for my sister and I but I didn't even have the time to think about my dad in that capacity before.